This is a stunningly restored 1955 model white. It's one of three equally well restored whites inside this shed. This story, however, is about far more than these trucks. It's about the man who owns them and was responsible for their restoration. His name is Philip Matthew. He's a very close friend of mine, has been for many, many years. And what makes this story particularly unique is that Philip is completely blind. He can't see anything but black. Yet with a sense of character and determination and tenacity, he has maintained an absolute passion and commitment for trucks and transport generally. How are you, mate? Good, thanks, Steve. Yeah? Been a long time coming, this interview. Yeah, we've been around for a while. Yeah, been around a long time. There's a truck in the background there. It's nearly as old as you and me. It is. Uh, yeah. yeah, not quite, but nearly. Tell me about your father. He was the original Bruce Matthew, wasn't he? Dad, yeah, it was the original Bruce Matthew. Uh, he was born in 1919 and he started off with a Bullock team in the uh, 40s and then when the bulldozers came available, he uh, started buying bulldozers and then carried on with bulldozers right to the time he passed away in 1980. It's now in its fourth generation. Yeah. Like there was your grandfather, he had bullocks. There was your father, then you, and now your son, Quentin. And for a long time, you just had a very successful logging company. Yeah, we did until uh, we finished in uh, 90, uh, 2016. Unfortunately, uh, I lost my sight in 2010. The last motor vehicle I drove was on a Saturday, the uh, 6th of March. I drove to work from home to here at lunchtime and that was my last time I drove a vehicle on the highway. Yeah, it was very disappointing and... Uh, but anyhow, there's nothing I could do and uh, we did the best we could to try and save it or make it come back, but unfortunately, uh, nothing could be done. Yeah, and Jenny, your wife plays a big part in your life, always has. Always has, and more so now. In the last 10 years since I w went blind, she's got to run me to work and pick me up and take me everywhere. And You still come to the shed every day? Yeah, I come every day. She brings me out about 8, maybe 8.30, and go home about 4, 5 o'clock and come out Saturdays and Sundays. You're a bloke who has a passion for trucks and machinery, and yet you're totally blind. How does someone restore trucks to this level and still get an appreciation for how well they're done? Oh, well, it's just something that I've grown up with and been part of for all my life, really. I can picture, uh, picture what they are and what they need to be. All the restoration work on all three of them was done by Cleary Brothers. Yeah, it was done with many thanks, special thanks to uh, Dennis and Brett Cleary and also Johnny and his team at Bombo. They made it possible for all the whole three trucks to be done and done a great job. And many thanks to all those people. There's a little rumour going around that this latest white here, this 55 model, that you might have been seen driving it around the cul-de-sac here. Yeah, I've done a couple of trips up and down the street. <laughs> <laughs> This is the 1955 white. What model is this? WC28 in H220 Cummins engine in it with the Spice Auxiliary box and SRDD 44,000 pound rear diffs. White Mustang, it was a famous name in its day, wasn't it? It was, and that uh, was right to the end of the era of the white Mustangs. What's the go with the dash centre? Could not have been original. Is that a bit of rosewood or something? Yeah, the, the only, everything's original in the, in the dash part, the main dash, the gauges, all the switches are original except for the bit of rosewood panel yeah. in the centre where the speedometer fits and the four electrical gauges. Well, Dad had the uh, WB22 log truck and I liked it from that day on and whites were 
a big thing for me. Uh, you were very close to your father, weren't you? Yeah, I was with him a lot until unfortunately he went. He'd be proud of these, you think? I think so, yeah. Aye. Yeah, he was, would have been. The grill, well, there was no grill when we first got it, and I wanted the shutters in it, which they had, some models. I've got to say, it's a stunning restoration, you know. Yeah, I just visualised what the truck was. I can remember what they were, and to bring them back to what they were, uh, I uh, seem to know a little bit how to get people to get them to put together. Yeah. But this is your latest one, but over here behind us is this, this was your first white, the first early white that you bought, is that right? Yeah, this is the uh, WC22. It's a 1961 model. It's got a side valve, six cylinder petrol engine, yeah. five speed main box and auxiliary box, and the uh, Timken rear ends, drop in diffs. They must have amazing tradesmen. Cleary Brothers to be able to do this sort of work. Yeah, they have. They got because some of it has to be fabricated, doesn't it? Yeah, they've got some really good boiler makers, painters, electricians. The whole lot are very good at Bombo. All right. Well, let's go over to the forty-two hundred. Now, this is still in left-hand drive, isn't it? It is. I always like the look of the forty-two hundred, which is a lovely shape, the bonnet and the grill and. Everything like that, and always really wanted one. And a very good friend in Monterey in the US. They went and picked it up at Bakersfield in California. Yeah. They come down and to LA and put it on the boat. And it came into Sydney and did the restoration of the paintwork and everything like that. It's got a big 531 cubic inch petrol engine in it, yeah. a five speed box, and SRDD Timken rear diffs and six rod suspension. It's not all about trucks, though, is it? No, uh, it's, it's not really. Uh, like you've been a machinery man all your life as well. I have. I started on the tractors before the trucks. This little one behind you, that, that's a 22. It's a 1935 model. This was John Cleary. It was his little tractor. And Dennis uh, gave that to me and brought it down to me as it is, finished like it is. That's probably as much as we need to talk about today. Great pleasure to have you here. Can't thank you enough. Talk to you soon. Thank you.